there, it's Marlene from ImageMaven.com and in this week's video blog post I'm going to talk about what happens if you shoot raw files and they won't open. This happens when you have a new camera or fairly new camera and you have slightly older, not even that old, software. So I'm going to show you what to do when your raw files don't open. This can happen whether you're using Photoshop Adobe Camera Raw, whether you're using Lightroom, Photoshop Elements, Aperture, iPhoto, anything that you use to open raw files. You have to keep your raw software up to date. The reason is, is that camera manufacturers haven't come up with a standard raw file format. Well, actually they have, but, but very few camera manufacturers are using it. It's called the DNG file format, which stands for digital negative. Pentax uses this file format, so their files will open up in any software, even older versions. But Canon and Nikon and Panasonic and all the other popular brands, often you'll get a disparity. You have a new camera and older software. And I'm going to show you steps you can take so that you will be able to open your raw files, even if you have slightly older raw software. It is recommended though that you keep your software up to date and that you don't use a software that's too, too old. One of the reasons is there's so many great new features in newer versions of software and you're going to want to take advantage of them. All right, let's have a look at the software. So this is what Photoshop Elements looks like when you have no files open. And to see if you can actually open your raw files, uh, just go under File, Open and navigate to a folder that has raw files in it and you can see that in this case it lets me open this file however I'm going to navigate to a folder that doesn't have um, files that will open I have a new Panasonic camera and you can see that the JPEGs open no problem but if I look at the other files RW2 those are raw files my Panasonic raw files they're grayed out so I know that I need to upgrade my Adobe Camera Raw plugin for Photoshop Elements uh, 9, which I have here. And I know that my plugin is not up to date for this software. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So how do you know if, what version of Adobe Camera Raw you're using? All you do is go under the Photoshop Elements tab and go About Plugin. Go down to Camera Raw, click on it, and it will tell you what version that you're using in the Camera Raw plugin. So in my case, it's 6.1.0.250. I know from just checking the Adobe website that the latest plugin version is actually 6.3. So now I know why my files won't open. I'll have to update to version 6.3 first. If you're using a Mac and you have Adobe products installed, you can just go up to the top right corner of your top menu bar and you see this A symbol and in my case it has the letter 4 here. If I click on that it's actually going to open the updater, the Adobe updater. So now the Adobe updater has popped up and I can see that I have lots of software to update. So all I do is I hit update and all of my um, camera raw plugins will be updated. I have a Photoshop version, I have an Elements version, I have Bridge here that needs updating and Adobe Photoshop CS5. So I'm just going to update all those and I'll come back to you when that's done. When you're all done your updates, it should look like this. Now let's see if we can open up those raw files. So now let's try to open that raw file again that wouldn't open before. So go under File, Open, go to our folder where those test images are, and now you can see that the RW2 file isn't grayed out anymore. So we can click on it, hit open. There we go. There it's open and it's showing us the Adobe Camera Raw window. We're off to the races. And just one more thing. I have a page on my website with information on all the links and where to look and how to find the latest version of the Adobe Camera Raw software. So have a look in the video description below. Click on those links. It'll take you to my website and there you can get further detailed information as well as a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to actually uh, open your files. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you soon.